Hello everybody, my name is Deanna Galicchio. I am the director of the wellness department at GBON located in Buffalo, New York. And today I'm gonna to guide you through a 30 minute easy breezy yoga session. That's good for you to go ahead and pick up midday for some rejuvenation. So you could even take this video and um, you know shorten it up or replay it to get gain more comfortability. So remember to listen to your body. If there's something that you can't do, do not push yourself. Just find something, a pose or a stretch that resonates with you um, or what you feel comfortable doing. So listen to my cues as best you can and I will try and do every single pose along with you and we can get started. So our first warm up pose will be child's pose. So come onto your hands and your knees Bring your big toes together to touch. Separate your knees out wide and sit your tush on the tops of your heels. Extend your arms out in front of you and place your forehead down on the mat. Let all your muscles relax down and start to gain some awareness of the sound and the rhythm of your breath. Now stay in child's pose and really aim to sit your tush on the tops of your heels and feel the stretch of your hip flexors all the way up to your fingertips. Notice what places feel open and fluid or notice the places that may need a little extra love and attention that may be a little tense right now. Remembering to breathe in and out through the nose, also known as ujjayi breaths. Inhales and exhales through the nose with a slight constriction on the back of the throat with each exhale, keeping your mouth shut, sounding like the sound of a wave or Darth, Darth Vader. It serves to build heat in the body and helps you push through different poses and keeps you in proper alignment, keeps you steady. Whenever there's a time you need to release that heat and take a breather, we will introduce a cleansing breath. So let's try to do a cleansing breath. So take the deepest inhale through the nose as possible, the biggest inhale of the day. And then wide open mouth, exhale it out. You can make it audible or silent. And return to your normal breaths in and out through the nose. Relaxing any muscles in your face, closing your eyes gently and start to make a dedication or an intention for your practice, whether it's a value or something that you're working on to help better your practice and keep you in the present moment. Inhale through the nose, filling up your chest all the way to your belly. Exhale through the nose, filling, feeling your belly soften and your chest sink in, ridding of those stale energies. Inhale through the nose, filling up your intercostal muscles, feeling your ribs expand and your belly get big. Exhale, release all that stale energy. And if your mind starts to wander, always tune in to the sound and rhythm of your breath, as well as your intentions and dedications to help keep you moving. We'll take one more cleansing breath together. Take a deep inhale through the nose, fill up your chest and belly as much as you can. Hold at the top for two seconds. Wide open mouth, exhale it out. Take an inhale here. And on an exhale, lateral flexion. Walk your hands over to the right. Stacking your left hand over your right hand, feeling the stretch on the left side body. Reaching up and out of the waist through your fingertips, feeling a stretch and feeling lengthen uh, from your fingertips all the way to your hip flexor. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fall a little deeper. You could gently 
Put some tension on your right hand with your left hand to feel more of a stretch in your shoulder blade. Walk your hands over to center. Take an inhale. And then on an exhale, walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. Forehead is on the mat. Place your right hand on top of your left hand and apply gentle pressure, feeling the stretch on the right side body. Keeping your glutes sealed at the top of your heels. Keeping your shoulders down and away from the ears. And lengthening with each inhale up and out of the waist through your fingertips. And exhale, soften your muscles down onto the earth. Inhale. And walk your hands back to center. Come up to tabletop, stacking your shoulders over your wrists and your hips right over your knees. Finding a neutral pelvis and a neutral spine. On an inhale, open your chest to the front of the room. Lower your belly and reach your tailbone up to the sky. Exhale, press the mat away from you. Round the spine, bring your chin to your chest. Cat. Inhale, open your chest to the front of the room. Lower your belly, reach your tailbone up to the sky. Eye gaze straight ahead. Exhale, press the earth away from you. Round your spine, bring your chin to your chest. Feel the opening in the backside body. Inhale, cow. Open your chest to the front of the room. Tailbone reaches up, belly lowers. Really spread those fingers wide. Come into cat on an exhale. Really pressing the earth away from you. And go at your own pace. You can make them as long or, or short as you want. Matching each inhale with cow. And each exhale with cat. And feel free to bring any organic movement that feels good for you. So if you want to work in the side body, work into the obliques. Go ahead and do some C curves, which is bringing your left shoulder to your left hip and looking over your left shoulder. Or the other side, right shoulder, reaching your right hip and your eye gaze over your right shoulder, really squeezing your obliques. Or you could release your head and neck down, do some neck circles. Whatever feels good. You want to rock out the hips, coming down from child's pose to tabletop. It's really good to lubricate our, our joints to keep them safe. Tuck your toes beneath you. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Fingers spread out wide, bearing weight in all four corners of your hand and slightly gripping with those fingertips. Tuck your toes beneath you. Round the spine like cat, puffing up the space in between the shoulder blades. Squeezing your belly up and in and lifting your knees off the mat just an inch. So keeping the tailbone down, belly squeezed in, eye gaze right in between your fingers. Squeeze. And on an exhale, extend your legs. Bring your hips up and back into your first downward facing dog. Hands are shoulder width apart, feet are hip width distance apart. You want to aim to keep your heels planted on the mat. If you can't, bend your knees deeply and let your belly nestle on top of your thighs. You press up away from the earth so that your torso is heading towards the tops of your thighs. Keeping your hips all the way up to the earth. And as time goes on, you can straighten your legs and you'll feel the stretch in your hamstrings and you'll become more flexible in your hamstrings as well as time goes on. Wrap your triceps down and keep your shoulders away from your ears by screwing your hands into the mat as if you're screwing on a jar. And you'll see your triceps move back. Breathe the length in the back of your neck. Really press the earth away from you and go ahead and walk the dog. Lifting one heel up and lifting the other heel up working into the Achilles and the calf and the arches of the feet. And walk your hands all the way to your feet. Slow and controlled movements. Tighten up that belly. Keep your legs straight. And then separate your feet hip-width distance apart or wider. 
and come into ragdoll or forward folded choice. So let your belly fall on your thighs, bend your knees deeply to release your head and neck and your spine. Then let your hands fall down onto the mat or you can grab onto either elbows like traditional ragdoll. If you bear more weight in your toes, you'll feel more opening in the backside of your legs. And really let your neck and head hang heavy. And let your cheeks fall forward. Heel toe your feet together. And then walk your hands back. And we'll come into plank. Stacking shoulders over wrists. Heels right over the toes. Squeeze your legs in towards each other. You don't want your hips too high or too low. You really want to try and find yourself in one straight line. By squeezing your glutes together, squeezing your legs together, hollowing up your belly, and puffing up the space in between your shoulder blades by really pressing into the earth, you'll be in proper form. Bring your knees down onto the mat and slowly lower down onto your belly, bending your elbows close into your torso. We'll come into baby cobra. Bring your thumbs in the middle of your chest and your fingertips right at your collarbone. Bring your chin to the mat, squeeze your legs together. And on an inhale, open your chest up to the front of the room, only lifting your chest, using little or no weight into your hands Stay lifted and feel your back muscles squeeze. And exhale, slowly lower your forehead down to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, forehead meets the mat. One more baby cobra. Inhale, open the chest up to the front of the room. And exhale, lower your forehead down to your mat. Let's come into cobra. And on an inhale, press into your mat and lift your chest open to the front of the room, leaving your hip flexors down, the tops of your feet press into the earth. Your hands come, can come a little bit more forward. Whatever feels good for you. Do not overdo the stretch in the back bend. So if you have to walk your hands a little bit up, out more, go for it. But this is Cobra. Squeeze, and exhale, bring your forehead down to the mat. Tuck your toes beneath you, and come into tabletop. Or you can go ahead and lift your hips all the way up and back to downward facing dog. Whatever feels comfortable for you. This is a beginner yoga session, so really listen to what your body can do. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky, flex your toes down, and your heel points straight up towards the ceiling. Your thigh is, should be parallel to the floor beneath you. And really press your heel away from you as if you're going to step on the wall behind you so you can activate your leg muscles and your glute muscles. Squeezing your abs, pressing the earth away from you. Exhale, lower the right leg. Inhale, lift the left leg up, squaring the hips to the front of the room. Wrap those triceps down, flex those left toes, towards your face and your heel straight up towards the sky. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze the leg, and then slowly lower your left leg down so that it meets the right. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Feet come together. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Come up halfway, spine is flat and straight, comes forward, your eye gaze is right down below as your neck is also lengthened. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips, flat spine on the way down, leading with the chest, bringing your nose to your knees. You can have a slight bend in the knee. Inhale, root to rise from your heels all the way to your fingertips as your arms come overhead and palms come together. And on an exhale, meet your hands and heart center. We'll go again and do sun A. Inhale your arms up overhead. Look at your hands. 
And on exhale, forward fold. Flat spine on the way down. Weight in the toes. Release your hands down at your sides. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift, belly up and in. Exhale, plant your hands down and move through your flow or step into downward facing dog. And when I say move through your flow, it's usually, if you guys want to take a look at me, you could do it on your knees or you could do it in plank position. So going through your flow to really complete the sequence, you shift your weight forward on the inhale so that your shoulders come past the wrist creases. And then on an exhale, you're going to bend your elbows close to your body, come down only halfway, press the tops of your feet into the mat, and open your chest up to upward facing dog or cobra, which we just did. And then on an exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. So now you can use this video to go ahead and revisit the chaturanga and upward facing dog to gain more comfortability and introduce them to your own flow. Let's do one more sun A. Inhale, lift your heels up to the earth, bend your knees, exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift, come up halfway, straight spine, lengthen your neck. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, arms come all the way up overhead. Let's do a mini back bend here. Send your hip points forward. Your feet are together, bear weight in all four corners of your feet. Belly up and in. You can bring your hands into goal post arms. So they're down at your sides, elbows are bent um, at a 90 degree angle. And you want to send your hip points forward, squeezing those glutes, squeezing the legs together, belly up and in. And slowly give yourself a little back bend as you bring your eye gaze towards the back wall behind you. Only going as far as back as you can. Keeping your shoulders down and away from your ears. Inhale your arms back up overhead. And exhale, bring your hands together. Forward fold, flat spine on the way down, leading with the chest. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down. And either move through your flow or step right into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips, round the spine as you come all the way down to the tops of your thighs. Inhale, root to rise, arms come all the way up overhead. Leave them apart, pinkies face in towards each other for chair pose. Sit your hips down and back. We're moving into sun B now. Reach your tailbone down. Belly up and in, and open your chest up to the front of the room. Gaze down at your toes. Make sure that your big toes are still visible. If they're not, bear more weight in your heels. As you sit down a little bit more, open your chest to the front of the room. Really squeeze that belly. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step into your downward facing dog or move through your flow. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Right foot is flexed. Toes point down towards the earth. Heel points up straight towards the ceiling. Exhale, warrior one. Send your right foot in between your hands by hugging your right knee in towards your chest in plank pose. And on an exhale, stepping your foot in between your hands. Keeping your right knee bent over your right ankle. Straightening your left leg. Angle your left toes to the top left corner of the mat. You may have to step out your left foot a little bit over to the left so that your feet aren't in one line. You want to stagger your feet. Once you get the floor work first, inhale your torso. Oop, and in inhale your arms up overhead. Biceps to ears, pinkies in, pinkies in face, pinkies face in towards each other. You want to reach your tailbone down, belly up and in. Really reach your fingers up and out of your waist. And here's warrior one. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step into plank and move through your flow. Or exhale, 
your hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, warrior one. Step your foot in between your hands. Really hug your knee into your chest in plank pose. Then step your foot in between your chest coming into a low lunge. Straightening your right leg and placing your right heel down on the mat. Angle your right toes to the top right corner of the mat. You may have to step the right foot out a little bit so your feet aren't in one line. And inhale your torso upright, stacking your shoulders over your hips. Inhale your arms up overhead. Energetically draw your feet together to activate your leg muscles. And breathe. Take one more inhale. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step into plank. Move through your flow or come into downward facing dog. Since it's a 30 minute session today, we're going to start to cool down. But first, let's go into our uh, Tadasana. So inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, arms come all the way up overhead. So we're in Tadasana. We're going to do one-legged Tadasana just to gain more strength, balance, coordination for the rest of our day to keep us concentrated. So your feet are together. Bear weight in all four corners of your feet. Legs are glued together, glutes glued together. Tailbone reaches down. There should be no curvature in your spine. Lift your all 10 toes up and then slowly bring them down. That will help you find your center. You can bring your hands at heart center or leave them down with the palms facing out towards um, in front of you, shoulders down and away from the ears, and really lengthen through the crown of your head up. And then start to bear weight in the left leg. Find it strong, find one point of focus, lift the right leg up. Really use the abdominal muscles and the ideology of your crown lifting all the way up to the sky. Remembering to breathe and meditate. Concentrate. Release your right leg down and we'll switch sides. Lift your left leg off the mat as you ground the right foot. You can play around and move it or you can just find stillness. Once you find stillness first and find your center, then you could go ahead and go out of your comfort zone. And then bring the left foot down. Inhale, your arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, plant your hands down and come onto your knees. Place your hands right on your knees, shoulders down and away from the ears. Inhale, your arms up overhead. Palms come together, and exhale at heart center. You can close your eyes. Inhale, open your arms up. Palms come together. Exhale, come to heart center. Reach your right ear to your right shoulder and feel the stretch in the left side of the neck. You can extend the left arm and feel how interconnected your muscles are from your forearm all the way to your neck. Come back to center, and then reach your left ear to your left shoulder. You can extend the right arm. Feel the stretch in the right side of your neck. Come back to center. Bring your chin to your chest. Feel the flexion in the back of your neck. Bring your eye gaze back up. And now bring your eye gaze back towards the wall behind you keeping your hips a little bit forward just to protect the neck. And also, you want to breathe length in the back of the neck so you don't crunch. And then come back to center. Bring your sit bones onto your mat. Extend your arms out in front of you. Flex the toes towards your face. Start to round the spine as if somebody's pulling your fingers. 
and exhale slowly lower down feeling every inch of your spine hit the mat as you squeeze your abdominal muscles inhale your arms up overhead for a full body stretch stretching from your fingertips to the tips of your toes exhale hugging your knees into your chest coming to a tight little ball rocking side to side And take this time to do any last pose of your choice. This is a time where you would technically do inversions, where your hips are higher than your heart, such as bridge pose, or legs up against the imaginary wall, like so. Or bridge, bringing your heels down onto the earth and lifting your hips all the way up. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Or you can stick with a happy baby, which I'm going to do because I'm very sore. Grabbing a hold of your feet from the inside or the outside, pressing your feet into your hands, hands into your feet, letting your whole spine be flat on the mat. You can keep the right knee bent and straighten the left leg, and then switch sides to work more into the hamstrings, or you could stay here. If you can't grab your feet, you can also just grab onto the tops of your calves. Release your legs down. Let your arms fall out at your side. And get ready for Savasana, the meditation piece and what we've all been waiting for. To let our bodies and mind fully surrender. Relaxing every facial muscle, any expression that we may have. Releasing tension in our jaw by slightly parting the mouth and letting the tongue float in the cavern of your mouth. Softening your eyes. Slowing down your breath. And connecting each inhale with each exhale. Staying in the here and the now, not worrying about anything else and giving ourselves gratitude for all the hard work that we did today. Take this next couple minutes of silence for yourself, for your savasana, palms facing up for receiving or palms facing down for more grounding. When we come to an end, I'll lead you out. Savasana. Start to bring movement back into the body. Wiggle toes, wiggle fingers. Rock your head side to side. Inhale your arms up overhead for a full body stretch, stretching from your fingertips all the way to the tips of your toes. And on an exhale, bring your knees into your chest and come into a tight little ball, resting on either elbows. Rolling over to one side, letting your curves hit the earth beneath you, giving yourself a nice tight squeeze and a nice tight hug. And come up to a comfortable seat. Placing your hands together in prayer at heart center and bowing in. Taking this small moment to give support, light and love to all the dedications and intentions for our practice today. 
as we worked really hard and supported one another. There is much light, love, and beauty within me, and I do see and honor the same light, love, and beauty with each one of you. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this nice, quick 30-minute yoga session to help kickstart your day. Remember to stay hydrated. It's very, very hot this week. And I hope that you have a beautiful day. Bye.